guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. Before we get started with what's in my pencil case, I just want to give a special thanks to Revesign for inspiring me to join the study community. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and click subscribe and then we can start a big happy study family. Now let's get into the video. This is the pencil case that I have been using this year. It is from Home Cube. And I got this off of Amazon, so I will definitely link it in the description below. I really like all the pencil cases that they make. They are very high quality and durable, and overall, I just think that they're really cute. Without further ado, let's get into what is in my pencil case. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through this kind of like compartment by compartment, if that makes any sense, in this little pocket. Um, I just keep some, oh my gosh, I just keep some chapstick in it. This is the classic medicated kind because my lips do get very chapped and it's very handy to just have like a little um, compartment to like put it in. And then in this little mesh pocket, I just keep a bunch of post-it notes. I don't use post-it notes a whole lot because in all honesty, I think it's kind of a waste of paper to just have like a bunch of little pieces of paper everywhere. I just prefer to keep everything on like one bigger piece of paper, if that makes any sense. So here I have my calculator. This is the Casio FX9750G2. This is a pretty popular calculator at my school. It's a cheaper alternative for like a TI or something. These are about 50 bucks, whereas TIs are about 100 to 150. Under my calculator, I keep my writing utensils and I'll just go through them kind of one by one. This is the pen that I use if I want to make like thicker strokes or write something a little bit thicker. I typically use this for the like headings of my notes because it's a lot bolder. These are the, uh, let's see, Pilot G2.38. I prefer thinner pens because my handwriting just looks neater and to me it just looks more aesthetic. And then I have this red pen that I use if I ever need to like correct something. I just find red pens to be a lot more satisfying for correcting things than just plain black pens. And then I have these three big mechanical pencils and honestly, I never use pencils because my handwriting just does not look good with them and I just don't really like how they look on paper. I know that sounds kind of dumb, but it's just, just how I feel about pencils, I guess. And then under my writing utensils, I just keep a couple of note cards. Again, I don't use these a whole lot like during class. I just like to take my own notes in my notebooks. A lot of my teachers hand out packets to take notes anyway, so these don't come in handy a whole lot, but they're good to have. For the last compartment of my pencil bag, um, I keep my mild liners in these like little like, loop thingies. I don't know what these are called. I have the colors pink, orange, green, blue, and yellow. All very like pastel-y and aesthetic colors. I have a lot of other mild liners, but because there's kind of limited space in this, I just figured that I would keep colors that like I find essential for schoolwork. I don't know if that makes any sense. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I just figured for my first video, I would make a very like raw, casual one. So I understand that right now may not be the time to make videos like these because everyone's starting online school and really what I have in my pencil case probably doesn't matter at this time. I just thought that it would be kind of a good introduction to my channel, a very simple video. If you like videos like these and you have any more ideas as to what I can do, definitely hit the subscribe button and the like button and comment down below what I should do. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and have an amazing day and wash your hands.